Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf back at it with another YouTube video. Whoa, man, this is... I've been knowing this has been going on for a while now, months, and now it's mainstream where people are talking about it. So uh, there's so many stories with this that, uh, I mean, it has to be more than one video covering, showing, talking all about this. But first off, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, too, you'll see in the home video on the top, check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. Let's get talking about this because this is it, it, this is a very serious video because if you're not getting ready now while wow, my dogs are playing play fighting behind me what are you guys doing if you're not ready already you definitely should be um, because things are gonna get a lot worse before they're gonna get a lot better and they're, they're having fun back there so here's the title of the video I'm a California dock worker facing record cargo ship backlogs. It will be catastrophic if things get worse. And this was article was posted on October 12th. Today is October 13th. Just saw this and I uh, figured let's let's start talking all about this. Uh, what's all posted? So a lot of people aren't aware. There's tons of cargo ships west and east coast. They're not getting unloaded. And then I saw another video on TikTok. So recently I seen a TikTok of a gentleman that was at the port and made a video of you know the truth of it and this is the truth. We got the trucks, four rows, we got chassis, they don't we've been here for four hours. Nothing. So uh uh it'd be a semi truck driver that would be picking up the shipping containers at a port and they're all lined up saying they're not going nowhere. So it's it's some unloaded it's probably so crazy that it's just like, you know, you have to hear from, uh, to me, I'd rather hear the people who are there, this is what they do, what's all going on, and sometimes what you're seeing on uh, other people reporting other stuff, but uh, I figured to share all this, because this is very, very disturbing of what's going on. So it says here, the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are experiencing record, oh, here, we got Pike, he's coming in, he's just like, you gotta put me on the video at least. What's going on, Pike? Good boy. All right, get down, okay? Got to film this YouTube video. People need to learn what's going on. It's here. Long Beach experienced record backlog as cargo ships wait at dock. Ports handle nearly half of the inbound containers for the U.S. making backlogs a huge issue. A California longshoreman told Insider what it's been like to work the ports. They choose to remain anonymous due to the, their job, but their identity has been verified by the insider. This is a, their story as told to a freelance writer, Jenny Powers. California Longs Shoreman told Insider that it's been like to work the California ports during the record backlog. They choose to remain anonymous due to their job, but their identity has been verified by the insider. This is their story. I've been working as a longshoreman at California San Pedro Bay Port Complex for close to 15 years. This is the only thing I know for sure about the congestion here is there everyone is to blame someone else. The shipping companies blame us for not covering skilled labor jobs, but then there's ones that approve training for those types of jobs. Then we turn around and blame COVID-19 for the influx of online orders. Consumers see their ships backed up and say we're not unloading fast enough. Truckers complain about the lack of chassis at the port, like that clip I played earlier, showing that which limits the number of containers that can be carried out of the yard. It's a total blame game. But the blame game has to start somewhere, and it's time to start with backlogs at the port. The other crazy thing I saw, another thing, I'll probably make a video talking about this. It costs to get a shipping container shipped from 
Count, uh, from China to the U.S., record highs over thirty thousand dollars just to move a shipping container. Now think of a company moving it. The cost comes goes back to the consumer. They're not going to eat the cost on that. And uh, there's some other stuff too. I'll have to probably make another video talking all about that because it's there's a lot of stuff going on. You're going to go to the store and find a lot of stuff missing. The ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach saw the record backlog last month with 65 cargo ships stuck off the coast waiting to dock and unload combined the ports are the largest complex in the western hemisphere handle handle as estimated 40 percent of the inbound containers for the u.s making them some of the busiest in the world recent backlog is just another example of a global supply chain in crisis R right now every single part all the supply chain is backed up from the overseas shippers to the U.S. receivers. And then there are no signs of it dying down anytime soon. Like I've been telling you guys, get prepared. It says here, we're like the Costco ports. As a major gateway to the trans-Pacific trade, everything you can imagine comes through here. Longshoremen or dock workers, as we are often referred to, work in a commercial ports and harbors unloading and loading cargo to and from vessels through either manual labor and by operating heavy machinery. It can be physically demanding job most of the time and then end up end of the shift. It's pretty normal to feel like you did the most intense workout of your life. Even with the hour lunch break and two 30 minute breaks and what is referred to as as an identified casual meaning I get the work left over from regulars who are the permanent full-time workers in the union since the pandemic congestion at the ports like mine it is at all-time high shipping ships idling and anchored offshore can be seen for miles as they still wait for their turn to dock and then have their cargo unloaded. According to Marine Exchange of Southern California, as of October 5th, there is a total of 143 ships in Port 88 at anchor or drift areas and 55 at berths. The record at the time has been 150 total ships and that was set just last month. Despite what it, it may look like, those crews aren't exactly stranded out there in the water. Their ferry service and transports people back and forth from the dock, so they're free to come on land and pick up food or supplies. They can even go to Disneyland if they want. They might as well. They're not much else for them to do. It's a waiting game. The craziest part Despite all the logistic challenges and log jam, it's not going to stop. And that's because there's still plenty of money to be made. What we're witness, witnessing is vi a vicious cycle. Since the pandemic, more people have shopped online than ever before, increasing the number of shipments coming to our ports. Retailers are encouraged consumers to shop early to ensure their gifts arrive in time for Christmas, causing a public fr frenzy and onslaught of online orders. As long as manufacturers continue to pay warehouse, warehouses to ship their products, it's a business as usual for them. The warehouses will continue contracting and shipping companies to ship their containers out. The ports won't turn ships away because they make all their money in the docking fees unloading containers. All of this affected the delicate balance of the supply chain. Warehouses are bursting at the seams. Shipping containers are an ex excess demand. Chassis are running out. Equipment is being ragged. Waterways and railways are overwhelmed. Trucks and truckers are maxed out. And our yard and ports are overflowing as a result. There's been a lot of talk about the port being closed on weekends, but only closed to truckers on Saturdays and Sundays in the effort 
to manage traffic. The ports are open on weekends and we are here sorting, unloading, and loading cargo, but there is a, not a lot of room in the yard because of the staggered amount of shipments we're dealing with. Those of us with our boots on the ground have zero say in what goes on around here. We just keep cr cranking away and we haven't stopped. Being casual means no two days are alike. As casual as casuals, we never know what our actual job is until we arrive for our shift, shift and, it, and get assigned our tasks. The work ranges from boring to repetitive, like driving a utility tractor rig all, around all day, no, known amongst the dock workers the shake and bake because it, the truck is shaky and there is no air conditioning to activities like lashing containers to the ships, which while extremely stress, strenuous activity makes the ship fly by. I'll take that over monotonous work any day of the week. The surging cargo hasn't affected our day to day as far as, as how we work. But there is way more traffic in the yard now and more containers are being stacked in, in places I've seen them stacked before. The last time I saw in the backlog close to what we're expecting now was in 2015 when the International Longshore and Warehouse Union which represent dock workers and Pacific Maritime Association which represents all the shipping companies were embroiled in a lengthy contract negotiations which resulted in work slowdowns and stoppages. Some people assume workers will, were striking but the Pacific Maritime Association essentially choked up, choked us out of, by cutting our workload down. It was a soft lockout and everyone was playing dirty. Ships were backed up in the harbor while entities struggled to work out their differences, but there's nothing compared to the number of ships out there now. The agreement between International Longshore and Warehouse Union and the Pacific Maritime Association was set to expire in 2019, but both parties agreed to extend the expiration to July 1st, 2022. So you're, you've got to got to wonder how much of what is going on here condensed verse of matter of time. It would be catastrophic for the situation of ports to get worse, but it easily could. Before the backup, I worked for four days a week. Now I'm working between six and seven days a week. In the past, there might be 200 jobs available, casual, casuals during a shift. Now it's often double or triple that amount. Whoever says people aren't working because they're sitting at home on unemployment should come down here to the port and see for themselves. The way I see it, we are all in this together. Every link in the supply chain needs to keep up their end of the bargain instead of pointing fingers. We all need to lend a hand and get it done. This is just crazy. Uh, so definitely you're going to see huge shortages of stuff coming in. So get your stuff now uh, before it's too late because you're going to see like everything being a shortage, uh, not just food. Uh, you're going to go to the store one day in certain parts of the region, if not already, that there's stuff just way down or you're not even going to see it. It's just... <sighs> It's unbelievable and it's just gonna get worse it's not gonna disappear tomorrow and it could be years of dealing with this so uh, be prepared I've always been prepared of preparing for things that you you should foresee what's going on and when you start hearing all about this then you definitely should be way more prepared than you were before I would just tell you that because it's you know it's like uh, you want to be late to the party of being ready for stuff. It doesn't mean you want to be hoarding stuff, but you definitely want to be, uh, you know, what you might need because then it could be where you can't go and find it. It's the end of the video, man. This is, this is wild. So um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. 
existing subscribers hit the bell notification you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded check out the amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash i am beowulf check out the i am beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com be driven to win remember every day is earth day stay mighty and keep strong